Good evening, everyone, and welcome to JWE Wingcrest Wednesday. We're broadcasting live from Chicago, Illinois, where tensions remain high and only continue to grow. I can absolutely feel the desperation in the air right now. Prepare yourselves for some unstoppable offense, impossible defense, and unbelievable moments of athleticism and tenacity, because this is Wingcrest. And here we go, our first match of the evening. Introducing first, still looking for his first win. And yeah, the desperation last week after he kicked Kiryu in the nuts. <clears throat> it is the thunder from down under. Outback Thunder. Absolutely desperate right now for a win. And wins don't come easy in, in Wingcrest. You really have to earn them. And kicking people in the dick will not do it for you. And his opponent, it is Big G, Peter Griffin. And his opponent, from Pod Pocket, Rhode Island, weighing in at 270 pounds, Peter Griffin. And Peter, having a surprising season so far. And looking to continue his strong form with a win here. And also looking to continue uh, Outback's uh, losing streak. <clears throat> Although, he better be wearing a cup right now. Peter, I mean. Also Outback. I mean, he never know with these two. And here we go, first match of the evening. And apologies if I uh, apologies if I have a cough attack or whatever. I am still recovering from illness. <sighs> yep. Anyway, out back, continuing the off or er, beginning the offense quite early, and stomping Peter Griffin in the nose. You now picking him up with a pure Australian strength. You know, picking him up. And neckbreaker. Now kicking the dirt on uh, Peter, uh, Peter right there. Peter not taking that kindly. Shoulder barge. But out back, up to, onto his feet, and a shoulder barge of his own. Peter trying to get up onto his feet, but. Outback picking him up and throwing him through three of the ropes. Those things, I mean, yes, they have a, they have like a springboard effect, but they don't have a lot of give. It's like a non-Newtonian fluid. If you hit them hard, it's gonna hurt. Outback picking Peter up and tossing him. Almost onto the bare concrete. Now this fight is almost going backstage here and Outback landing back first on the concrete thanks to Peter Griffin. <clears throat> here we go. And now Peter landing ass first on the asphalt. 
I know that's not asphalt, but I couldn't resist the pun. Outback running in. Eight count by uh, Griffin, but no Outback. Running outside to reset the count. Over the shoulder suplex, and now knee or thigh to the face. And an over, over the shoulder suplex, jumping over Outback. The headbutt. And <laughs> oof. Just sending him flying there. Sending out back, rolling in. Seven count. Now back up onto his feet, looking to knock him off, but no Peter. Into the ring, just in time. You know, stomps. <clears throat> now looking to choke him out in the corner. Pick there and out and uh, Peter going for the pin. One, two. <clears throat> Outback pushing him off, but rolling to the outside and Peter Griffin meeting him there. Now the big G throwing him into the corner. Outback, nice reversal there. Now sending him into the into the barricade. And now face full of barricade there. And now looking for the leg DDT on the outside. That is, I don't know, the ACL probably not happy with that. Both men on the inside, and Peter with a forearm shiver. <clears throat> and now choking him out against the rope. Now big boot to the face, going for the pin once more. One. Two. Not quite. Punch to the face. Now sending him against the ropes. Now stomp to the chest. Computer looking to finish things off. Well, soon. Sending him into the corner. And now headbutt. Just grabbing him by his hair and headbutt. And oh no. Peter Griffin dragging out back into the corner. And here we go. The Griffin drop. And just... Oh wow, he... That wasn't a pin attempt. Okay, here it is. One. Two. Out back kicking off. Or kicking Peter off of him. <clears throat> up onto his feet and now pure hatred kicking him up and tossing him into the corner going for a pin himself one two Peter Griffin kicking out punch to the ear and now just tossing in and Outback taking no prisoners here. Hammer fist to the spine. And now middle rope. Trying to get Peter up onto his feet. Single leg drop kick connects. But Peter quick up onto his feet. But Outback nice reversal. And now over the shoulder toss, picking him up, and looking for the choke slam. But Peter, elbowing out, and now knife is chop in the corner. 
And here Lois, look at this. I can beat an Australian, Lois. Punching him off the apron. Kick. And powerbomb into the into the apron. And yeah. Not much that uh, Outback can do right now. He's very much stunned. And Peter Griffin is just taunting in his face. Stomp to the inside of the thigh. <clears throat> Referee up to a six count. They need to be careful. Peter Griffin picking out back up and tossing him into the ring. Quickly following suit, wanting to finish this thing off correctly. Tossing him into the corner, but Outback, very nice reversal. But Peter Griffin with the big boot. Sending him back down, dragging him into the middle of the ring so there's no attempt at a rope break. Running crossbody splash, going for the pin. One, two, and Peter Griffin continuing. Outback's a losing streak, and yeah. Peter Griffin picking up a very nice win there. When you have a when you have a a song like that, I mean, yeah, you really gotta get hyped. Peter Griffin, very nice win. Get crazy indeed. And here we go, our next matchup, and it's gonna be interesting. Introducing first, it is the Blade, the Flame Bringer, Rigid. Bit of a slow season or start to our season here. Start to the season we're over a month in. About a month and a half at this point. And her opponent. Tell me if you've heard this song before. It's the driver. Lady Morag. Morag and Bridget having a bit of a um bit of a uh, sparring match here. Wanting to do it live on television. And yeah. See how let's see how this goes.
And here we go, Blade versus Driver. Bell rings and Morik immediately going to tackle Bridget, but Bridget getting out of the way of that. <clears throat> Over the shoulder toss. And Morik continuing the offense, but Bridget with the reversal there. And tripping Morag up. And a big slap. Nice combo there. Elbow to the back of the head. Now jumping knee to the uh, eye socket. And the flame bringer. The first to climb to the top rope here. Elbow drop connects, going for the pin. One, two. Early two count. Knife edge chop and then uh, the tackle there. Rigid climbing out, more egg rolling out. Rigid kick there. And picking her up and just slamming her onto her back. Teeth breaking uh, reversal there. Kick. But Bridget with a reversal of her own. I mean, these two have been at each other's side for, I don't know, two, three decades at this point. They know each other very well, is what I'm trying to say. Picking Bridget up, or picking Moreg up is Bridget and slamming her down. And the blade getting the better of the match here, but Moreg with a possum pin attempt missed. Or, um, the punch there missed. Uh, Bridget kicked out, is what I meant to say. Picking her up and punching Bridget back down. Bridget into the corner. Corner uppercut by Moreg. And now half hitch knee raises. By tossing her from the corner. Straight onto her back. Picking her up. And some uh, Fujiwara armbar attempt here. But Bridget getting out of that, pushing her into the corner. Now picking her up over the shoulder, snap suplex. Rolling stunner, going for the pin. One, two, not quite enough. Spinning a corkscrew elbow, and now Bridget looking for the finisher. Morag slow to get up onto her feet. From behind, picking her up. Spinning powerbomb, going for the pin. One, two. But kicking her off. Morag. Looking, or I'm not sure quite where she is right now. Bridget has just been all over this. Morag with the reversal, but Bridget with the reversal, and Morag with the reversal back. Kick to the gut. Now chicken wing uh, snap suplex. And sending Morag back in. Bridget, once again climbing up top. Elbow drop to the back of the spine or to the back of the shoulders. Connects and now punches to the side of the head. Connect. And I have no idea what's going on with Morag this season. Spin kick connects. Now 
That was spinning power bomb into the corner, but the immediate rope break. <coughs> Morig with the reversal. Now picking Bridget up and power bomb. Picking her back up onto her feet. Kick. And now double knee uh curb stomp. One. Two. Bridget pushing her off. But that's some more egg I know. Bridget in the corner. More egg taking full advantage. Cross country drop kick. Now fist drop. Again. Picking Bridget back up. And now looking for the finisher. Kick. And another double knee herb stomp. One, two, and Bridget rolling out. More egg, more egg now climbing up top. And an elbow drop of her own. You can definitely tell. You can definitely tell that they are Blade and uh, and Driver. As is her takedown. More egg with the reversal. Kick. And now chicken wing spinning power bomb, picking her back up onto her feet. Kick to the shin and then spin kick. And now looking for her third finisher here. And another double knee herb stomp. One, two, and Bridge is not getting out of this one, and more egg. Picking up. Was that her first win of the season? <clears throat> I think it was. Very hard fought match there. And Moreg picking up a nice win there. Let's see if she can carry this momentum forward. Or if Bridget would just be kind in letting her win. And our next matchup is going to be a very interesting a clash of styles. Introducing first. It is the Ultimate Assassin, Agent 47. Making his way to the ring from Bucharest, Romania, weighing in at 185 pounds, the Assassin AK-47. <coughs> Agent 47. I mean, I'm quite, I, I'm, I'm disappointed in your season right now, dude. Let's see if he can turn it around. The silent assassin, always lurking in the shadows, and uh... I don't know, maybe he's playing the long con here. Trying to make himself appear to be not a threat, so that he can take the division by storm. And his opponent, it is the Mad Dog of Shimano, the One-Eyed Beast, Goro Majima.
Majima picking up a strong win last week and now and looking to continue his form this week and a struggling a struggling Agent 47 might just be the perfect target. Here we go, bell rings and 47 immediately running towards uh, running towards Majima, and I'm not sure what he did after that. Majima spinning, trying to use his breaker arts here, but nope. 47 getting out of the way. Nice combo there, but Majima again up onto his feet. Snap mirror and spinning heat kick. Picking 47 back up. And slipping to behind <laughs> and the backflip single leg uh, kick. Stomps to the back. Now Riz Clutch here and uh, Majima getting dominant control of this match early. And now sending 47 straight into the referee. Back elbow going for the pin. One. Not quite. Going for the quick pin here. I wasn't paying attention. One, two. Almost catching 47 by surprise. Drop kick to the corner. Now picking 47 back or up, spinning power bomb. Not sure if that was uh, thug style or not. And oh look, it's Zombie Majima from that one game that people from the Yakuza community just comp just all collectively agree to ignore. Majima snap mirror into the crossbody takedown. Now elbow drop to the sternum, 47 up onto his feet, and Majima stepping out of the way with that quick dodge, but being sent into the corner anyway. Nice reversal there, though. 47 high kick and sending Majima into the corner now. Both men outside, spinning back this mist of 47, or excuse me, Majima. Just throwing uh, 47 to the ground. Yeah, this is the Majima I know. Snap, in, or snap suplex into the barricade and now 47 sending Majima into the ring. 47 rolling in and how shouldering him and power bomb into the uh, into the side trying to think of what the word of uh, there was 47 throwing Majima to the outside Majima climbing back in but only to be met by 47 who clotheslined him back out now sliding out is 47, kick to the gut, <clears throat> <coughs> now Majima being fed some barricade for breakfast. You've heard of the breakfast burrito, prepare yourself for the breakfast barricade. High in iron, very high in iron. So if you have an enemy, I want to try it. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Majima, going for the Sonner. One, two. And while I was spewing bullshit, Majima almost won. Climbing up top. Backflip nearly connects, but 47 rolling out of the way just in time. Now picking Majima up and spinning. Drop punch there. Kick to the gut. 
and now looking for the silent assassin submission. Majima elbowing himself out just in time and oof. Opening him opening uh, 47 up with that elbow. Spinning back fist off the rebound connects. No takedown into the uh, double kick to the sternum. Majima pendulum backbreaker into the neck breaker. Going for the pin. One, two, 47 kicking out. And Zombie Majima is back. 47 climbing in and huge running big boot. Going for the pin out of nowhere. One, two, Majima getting his shoulder up. Not taking this match super seriously, though. Rolling out. 47 following him out. Forty-seven shouldering Majima and slamming him spine first into the mat on the outside, picking him back up, and forty-seven escaping to the contents of the ring, sliding out, almost looking to surprise Majima, but Majima, he is everywhere, he has eyes everywhere. He knew exactly what forty-seven was trying to do. Counterattack. But <laughs> speaking of counterattack. Nice reversal by 47. But Majima sending him from one side of the ring to the other. Kick after kick here. Now the modified Russian leg sweep. Majima with the hip toss. And now sending 47 into the ring. Majima climbing in himself. Take down. And now stomps to the face. And now lever arm breaker. Lever pull arm breaker. And Majima, again, not taking this match super seriously. And another lever arm, uh, lever pull arm breaker. Lever, lever, I say both. 47 out of nowhere though. One, two, three, and 47 just completely, completely stealing the match and Majima could not believe it 47 rolling out of the ring to avoid a confrontation and 47 just completely out of nowhere stealing the win and that is an instant classic finish I mean look at that just out of nowhere one two three And Majima not happy with that. He wants a rematch. He's pissed off at the ref. But a three count is a three count. And wow. Incredible finish. And here we go. A rivalry that has been absolutely building. And Toxic is certainly a way to describe the, uh, their relationship right now. Introducing first, it is the ultimate despair. Making our way to the ring from Japan, ultimate bad dog, Judy. Junko Enoshima. Making her way to the ring here.
And yeah. Looking to uh, reclaim her position over her sister. But something tells me it's not going to be that easy. And her opponent, it's her sister, the ultimate soldier, Mukuro Ikusaba. From Japan, the world undisputed extreme, the universal world champion, ultimate soldier miracle. It is the women's wing crest champion of the universe Mukuro Yukusaba certainly making her presence known early in the season and looking to continue asserting her dominance not only over her sister but over the entire conference And Junko be, uh, starting off with the disrespect, but Mukuro not taking that kindly, picking her sister up and slamming her down in the middle of the ring and just telling her off. I mean, Mukuro, I'm, I'm glad you finally grown a backbone, and my god, it's a, is it one of steel right now? Titanium? I don't know. Some steel titanium, a weird alloy that's just like extremely strong right now because she is not taking any crap at all. And speaking of picking, uh, uh picking Junko up and just slamming her down, <clears throat> but Junko picking Mukuro up in the uh, fireman's carry and now sending her face full of turnbuckle but Mukuro with the reversal dropkick attempt but Junko rolling out of the way <clears throat> face buster there now stomp to the stomp to the shoulder blade But Mukuro getting her hand out of the way just in time. Now sending her for an, Ir for an Irish whip, knocking down, jumping over, but not having an attack. <laughs> Junko with the um, with the knife edge uppercut, and now is she looking for a spear here? Suicide front flip split leg takedown connects. And now jumping arm breaker to the outside. And Junko potentially turning things around here. A mat or a, a single win wouldn't do much, but it could certainly turn the tides. Reversal there after Mukuro, Mukuro tried to grab her. Both women into the ring once more. Irish whip here and the tripping takedown. And now using her sister as a balance beam. The slap and going for the pin. Two. Mukuro not going to let that happen though. Kicking out at two. <clears throat> and neck breaker there landing awkwardly on that neck shouldering her once more 
and takedown going for the pin again one two Mukro jumping out picking her up and slamming her down climbing up top looking to fly and nobody home Junko trying to get up onto her feet, but Mukuro with a really suplex. One. Only one count. <clears throat> Picking her up and slamming her down. Now punch to the face. And Mukuro picking her sister up, hip toss into the Fujiwara armbar submission attempt. But Junko slithering out like the snake she is. Now sending Mukuro into the corner. Takedown and going for the pin once more. One, two, still not enough. Picking Mukuro back up and the double clothesline into the trip. And now, one. Two. Almost another possum pin win. Irish whip ducking down, jumping over. And now the tackle with the ground and pound. I thought she missed again, but nope. Not this time. <clears throat> Stomp to the face. And Junko given just enough time to roll out. Now Mukuro climbing up top and jumping down, rolling out instead. Catching her, uh, catching her shins against the uh, LED screen. That's not going to feel nice. <clears throat> and catching the ankles against the same screen, same location, more or less. Now sending it, her into the corner. <clears throat> Mukuro climbing in. Six count here. I think she's okay with a count out win. Seven and Junko needs to, needs to um, regain consciousness and climb back in. And she does right before the nine count. Mukuro egging her on, but never egg on Junko. Arm puller there. And now Junko looking for her finisher. Picking her up. And powerbomb going for the pin. One. Two. And again, Mukro kicking out. Being dragged into the middle of the ring. Junko with that stomp. But Mukuro with a nice reversal. Elbowing herself out. Now up over... And Junko with the reversal, tripping up Mukuro. And has Junko caught second win? Mukuro with the with the reversal. Junko with the uh, springboard, a uh, bulldog. And now climbing middle rope, trying to get Mukuro up onto her feet, but missing. <laughs> with that double leg drop kick, Mukuro getting out of the way. 
and now Junko rolling out. Good girl climbing up top, perched up like uh, like uh, Batman, but missing with that. Junko with the reversal, Mukuro with the reversal. No face full of apron. Junko rolling out of that face uh, face kick, but Mukuro continuing the offense four count here. Face full of barricade again. Breakfast bar uh, breakfast barricade. Part of a completely or uh, part of a complete breakfast. Coming to a Taco Bell near you. Mukuro throwing Junko into the corner and now stalking the inside and not. Okay, one count. Junko with the reversal. Mukuro picking her up and Pendulum Backbreaker. Now tossing her almost into the barricade, not quite. Now Junko is uh, stunned against Barricade, 6 count here, she has a couple of seconds to get back in if Mukuro doesn't reset the count. 7, 8, Junko again climbing in. Springboard a Bulldog going for the pin. <clears throat> 1, 2. Mukuro getting her shoulder up and Junko throwing a bit of a fit right now. Up onto her feet and Mukuro with the hip toss into the Fujiwara armbar once more. <clears throat> Will Junko slither out? No, she taps out. And Mukuro again. Picking up the victory and showing her sister who is the boss. That was a very back and forth match, but my god. That, that was good. That was that was I was well I, I was I was well entertained. Here is your winner, Ultimate Soldier Miracle. And Mukuro again picking up that win. And a very, very good win. And our next matchup, introducing first, it is the men's wing crest universal champion, Waluigi. Waluigi again just incredible form as of late extremely surprising but at the same time not surprising if that makes sense and yeah looking for his title defense to continue here <clears throat>
and his opponent, a man cut from the same cloth as Waluigi, just somehow completely different. It is the irresistible force, Chubbs McGee. It's always a party when he uh, walks to the ring. go Waluigi and Chubbs. Both absolute monsters of men here. Interesting camera right here. Probably <clears throat> probably make sure that you understand how tall both of these men are. Chubbs and Waluigi missing on their opening attacks. Now Chubbs ankle lock here just to wear down some mission. Waluigi with the uppercut and snap DDT. Chubbs getting up onto his feet. <clears throat> but standing submission attempt here by Waluigi. But Chubbs just tossing him out of the way. Uh takedown there, or trip up takedown into the corner and Waluigi with the corner shoulder spear jumping in and <laughs> nice diving clothesline to boot. Going for the pin one, two referee was right there knife heads chop and head scissor takedown by the champion hip toss But Chubbs picking Waluigi up, bring him to the corner, but Waluigi elbowing himself out. But Chubbs making sure that he is in control, just sending Waluigi tumbling over the top rope there. Now Waluigi with the Irish Whip. Hip toss. No punches to the face, 5-6. One punch for each letter in Waluigi if you count six letters in Waluigi. If you count Wa as one letter. Strange athleticism there by Chubbs McGee. Now picking... Waluigi up, but Waluigi with the reversal pin here, but only a one count. Sending McGee into the corner. And now corner Waplex incoming. Connects. Going for the pin, rolling McGee onto his side. No... Uh, no um, <clears throat> rope break here, and no cover as as a uh, McGee gets his shoulders up. I don't know why I said forty-seven. Though. And <laughs> McGee grabbing or, or grabbing Waluigi by his uh, by his overalls there, bridging suplex here, and spinning tornado neckbreaker. Waluigi with that reversal. Again, just the absolute um, athleticism by McGee. 
Takedown. And picking Waluigi up. And powerbomb there. And now, oh my god, here we go. McGee drop time. And X, but no pin. Okay, here's the pin. I mean, you could have just sat on him, but that also works. Two. Waluigi getting his shoulders up just in time. And now crossbody to the spine and the... Uh, I, I, I think McGee is a bit of a chiropractor in his spare time because I think he just realigned like 12 vertebrae there. And another McGee drop. Sitting on him, on him this time. One. Two. And <laughs> somehow getting his shoulders up. And oh my god. McGee climbing up top. Looking for the diving crossbody. Never mind. Uh, I have no idea what that was. Knees to the inside of the thigh. And Waluigi, uppercut. Back elbow wind. Back elbow right into the, uh... Right into the knuckle sandwich. Back elbow uh, springboard missed there. McGee with the kicks. Picking him up and powerbomb. Waluigi rolling out. But McGee with the springboard RKO out of seemingly nowhere. Waluigi getting up, but immediate bridging suplex into the corkscrew powerbomb. And Waluigi is in a bit of trouble right now, it looks like. Knife edge shot, back elbow, combo. McGee taking him down. And again! But no, Waluigi this time, punching his way out with that reversal. But McGee with a reversal of his own as he steps out of the way of that... With that, uh, kick attempt. And Waluigi has the entire, like, he has the length of, like, the entire, or the... <clears throat> the length advantage of the entire, uh, mat. Here we go, McGee drop into the pin once more. One, two, and McGee picking up a win! against the Universal Champion and Chubbs McGee I don't know when a collective 1200 pounds sits on your sternum I don't blame you if he can't get up after the third time actually no he's 500 pounds so it'll be 1500 And Chubbs McGee picking up a very nice win there. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. Introducing first... It is the one, the only, the American Nightmare, Senator Stephen Armstrong. And yeah, I, I don't really know what to say other than where's the fire coming from. I don't see any fire yet, I hear fire. But yeah. I don't really know what to say. I mean, it's Stephen Armstrong. 
he's an absolute dominant force in this um, in this division, only losing to um, Waluigi. And looking to get some revenge, but... Oh, there's the fire. Yeah, I don't really know what to say here. I'm just not going to say anything. What a great commentator I am. And his opponent. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 470 pounds, Gorilla Harry B. It is Harambe. And I don't think these two have fought yet, so I'm very curious to see how this goes. And this is absolutely something that would happen in a Metal Gear game. Like, like, like the game series is just, it's just so crazy at this point. Like, I, I don't think anyone would blink an eye if you had to fight a gorilla in a wrestling match. Like, this is so Metal Gear. Armstrong beginning the offense with a running clothesline into the corner, taking Harumpe up in the hammerlock. Backbreaker. And a running crossbody. And yeah, Armstrong. Very strong start here. Looking for another running cro crossbody? Yes, and it connects again. And third time. Yes, and it connects for a third time. If it ain't if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Fourth running crossbody. I'm surprised he wasn't going for five. Imagine a world, Raiden, free of cancel culture, where I can do five running crossbodies. In a row, and nobody can call me out on my out call me out on my outlandish strategy. My sources that I made it the fuck up. Oh, that's such a good video. Anyway, onto the um back to the squash match at hand here. Harambe just absolutely can, can do absolutely nothing right now. Armstrong picking him up and tossing him back inside the ring. Six count by the referee. But Armstrong's not in any hurry. Harambe being stopped by the referee. But jumping clothesline. No punches to the face, and Rambe might open up here. Armstrong up onto his feet, and collective unconscious. Going for the pin, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. One. Two. Okay. What was that extremely slow count? Okay, there, there we go. There's the fifth running crossbody and Harambe finally getting out of the way of that. There we go. Very nice. Harambe picking him up and a pseudo gorilla slam. Nice spinning back elbow there by Armstrong though. Picking him up. And face buster. Running knee connects, and Harambe 
escape escaping to the outside of the ring, retreating to the outside. Armstrong trying to get him up. <clears throat> Diving hammer connects. Diving hammer punch. And uh, kicking his face into the concrete on the outside. Now sending him back in where we can continue the squash match. Squash match. Squash match also, also works. No squash match. Yeah, you can tell I've been sick because I'm just like... I'm just kind of spewing off random stuff right now. And the absolute power here. The Metal Gear Slam. Not to be confused with Metal Gear Sam. And another collective unconscious attempt here, but Harambe with the reversal. Getting the better of the QT either. I wonder, does uh, does Armstrong know Q, uh, uh, CQC? I think he does. I mean, his, his match certainly... Uh, his battle certainly would imply that. I don't know what I'm saying. Of course you know CQC. Running clothesline to the outside. Now following him out just to continue to exert as much damage as possible to the monkey. Or the gorilla, technically. Mid today, not pan. I think. I think. I think that's the correct tack, though, right? Harambe with a very nice reversal. And I. I thought. Uh, I thought Armstrong was reversed back, but no. <clears throat> Picking Armstrong back up, sending him into the ring, catching a bunch of rope on the inside though, or on the, on the way inside. And here we go, Collective Unconscious out of nowhere, going for the pin in the middle of the ring, and absolutely no rope break here. One, two, and yes, Senator Armstrong out of nowhere with the Collective Unconscious, picking up that win and continuing his form. Like nothing happened at Battle for the Bank. Very nice victory. And as we watch the replays here, we are signing out from Chicago. I would like you all, I would like to thank you all for joining and hope to see you next Sunday, St. Patrick's Day, at TLC. Wingcrest isn't going to be there, but J. Ramada and Eclipse will be. You don't want to miss it. It is TLC. It's going to be a very dramatic pay-per-view event. But until then, we're signing out from Chicago. Have a good one, everyone.